I don't have any more feelings for you. Excuse me? So we're going to get a divorce. So bring all those things and submit these divorce papers too. Wh what? You were having an affair over there anyways, right? Come again? What the heck are you saying? There's no point in pretending to not know about it. I even have photos as evidence of you cheating on me. I see how it is. So that's how you're trying to take away my things from me, huh? Fine, let's get a divorce. But don't you dare regret your decision, okay? My name is Selena. I am 32 years old and I work at a company. I have been married to my husband, Cole, for five years now. To think about it, I feel like these five years passed by so quickly. My husband and I were classmates in college, and we met again when we went out for drinks during reunion after a long time since we became adults. At that time, I was busy with work and I was feeling mentally drained. My husband was very kind to me, and I was attracted to him because of how gentle and kind he was. We started seeing each other several times and began dating. And after dating for about three years, we ended up getting married. Although it had been quite a while since we met, we still enjoyed our newlywed life and were full of happiness. When I entered my 30s, I was promoted at work and my salary increased dramatically. This has allowed us to be more luxurious and we spent a lot of fun time together as a couple, going on trips and eating out to expensive restaurants. I thought that we could continue to enjoy our happy life together. However, recently, my husband has been acting strange. He has been acting kind of distant and cold. I'm home! Welcome back. Oh, and did you work late today? It seems like the dinner is not ready. Oh, I came home as usual. I just haven't cooked it yet. I see. I'm not gonna cook anymore. Huh? I mean, isn't it weird that I'm a guy, but I'm cooking? What? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Nothing, I just noticed something which was clearly obvious. What? what do you mean, obvious? I've seen men cooking rather often lately, you know. Then there's something wrong with the world. Hey, Cole, what's wrong? Did you have a bad day at the office? Shut up. I just got tired of doing the house chores. So from today on, you're the one cooking all the meals. What? I also work late too on some days. Then you should just get off work early, right? No, no, that's not possible. I can't just leave my colleagues in the middle of a project. Huh, is that how you would brag about your work? You think you're better than me? No, it's not like that, but... Anyway, I'm not doing the house chores anymore. Saying that, my husband went into his room. I was puzzled by the sudden change in Cole's attitude. But when I looked back on our conversation, I realized that my husband may have been concerned about the fact that I got promoted and earned more than him. I am not pressuring or expecting my husband to increase his income, but I think it may have hurt his pride for him to know that his own wife makes more money than he does. Taking that into consideration, I might have been talking to my husband about my complaints at work. And these things might have made my husband feel inferior to me. And thinking like that, I felt a little bad. I guess I haven't been considerate enough for Cole. But if I apologize to him now, I might hurt my husband's pride even more. So I would wait for my husband to naturally start talking to me normally. That's what I thought, but... I'm home! <sighs> Now, Cole doesn't even reply back to me. I went to the living room to see if anyone was home, but he was asleep on the sofa with the TV on. And there were leftover snacks and a drink left on the table. I was tired from working overtime, but when I found out how lazy he was being, it irritated me too. 
I started to cook while trying not to look at my husband. Then he seemed to wake up and said, Oh, hmm, oh, welcome home, while stretching his arms. Where's dinner? That's what he would ask me right away. I suppressed my anger and said, I just started making dinner. It'll almost be done. Oh, I see. Then I'm getting in bath. With that, my husband left the whole mess on the table and went into the bath. I cooked while getting even more frustrated. When Cole got out of the bath, I put the dishes on the table. Then my husband sat down at the table as if it was normal for him that he was going to have me cook for him. What, you cooked chicken alfredo pasta? I already ate that for lunch. Is there anything else for me to eat? As you can imagine, this made me really mad. If you insist so much, prepare yourself. You're coming home earlier than me and all you do is relax around. I've been working overtime, you know, and yet I'm doing my best to cook so I don't want you to complain or anything. When I couldn't stand Cole being like that anymore and said what I needed to let out, his eyes widened and got angry. Huh? Are you trying to tell me what to do like that? You think you're better than me, aren't you? If it's that hard for you working overtime and all, why don't you just quit your job? Why would you say that? Because that's how it is, isn't it? You've gone crazy ever since you got promoted. You're always working all the time and you feel like you're better than me. No, that's not true. I've always been the same to you and as your wife, I've always been treating you equally. Then you should just do the house chores as my wife, right? Honey, that's not fair. We work together, so we should support and help each other. I would appreciate it if you could at least cook me some easy dish like salad or soup, or do some cleaning, or at least organize your things. After my husband became angry, I tried to talk to him as calmly as possible. But my husband became more and more heated. What's so wrong with what I suggested? Normally, a wife is supposed to support her husband, right? So you better start supporting me. If you keep working, I'll divorce you. D divorce Now hold on. Are you being serious here? Yeah, I'm being serious. What? If I quit my job, we won't be able to live like how we are right now. You do know that, right? Besides, I like my job. And who helped you get that job? I was the one who recommended to you, right? If it weren't for me, you would have been mentally distressed to keep working for a terrible company and not be able to do your job. Well, well that's true, but... It's true that my husband was kind to me and encouraged me when I was having a hard time at my old job, which gave me the courage to quit. It was also my husband who encouraged me to change jobs to an international company, which I had originally been interested in. But I was the one who actually quit my job, and I was the one who went for the interview and was hired. So I felt it was wrong for him to patronize me like that. Besides, it's a little too much to ask for a divorce just because I don't obey him or listen to Cole. I stopped arguing thinking that talking further would only make things worse and worse. Okay, I was a little out of line. I'm sorry. My husband seemed to calm down a little after I apologized. Well, you should have said so from the beginning. After that, he ate his dinner, drank some beer, and went to his room. Since then, my husband has been abusing me and trying to get me to obey him, as if he was the boss of this house. I think he's just taking it all out on me because his work is not going well. So I will be patient until he calms down. And actually, I was scheduled to go on a long overseas business trip starting this month. Once we live apart, my husband will not have to think about the difference between us any more than necessary. Well, I'll be going. You'll be gone for a year, right? 
Well, good luck with your life over there. Yeah, thanks. My husband seemed to have cooled down a bit and saw me off with a smile. I was glad we didn't end up fighting here. So I went overseas with peace of mind. Work was busier than I had expected, and I could only occasionally message my husband to let him know what was going on. Even so, he would say kind words to me, so I did not feel anxious. A year passed in the blink of an eye, and I returned back. I was looking forward to seeing my husband for the first time in a long time, so I immediately picked up a cab from the airport and headed home. Familiar scenery began to appear through the car window, and I was so excited to go back home after a while. I want to enjoy the food and sleep comfortably in my bed back at home. As I was thinking this, the cab finally arrived at my house. I paid the driver, got out of the cab, and headed for the front door. But then I saw something really shocking. Huh? What the heck? In the front yard, on the way to the front door, there was a pile of cardboard boxes, and on the top of them was the divorce papers. Apparently, all my belongings were in these cardboard boxes. I tried to enter the house, but the front door was unlocked. But I could not open the front door. The key wouldn't fit into the keyhole. Huh? What the? The keyhole has been changed? I had no choice but to ring the doorbell. And then I heard my husband's voice from the other side of the door. Yes. Hey, Cole? What is the meaning of this? Oh, that must be you, Selena. That's right. You returned back today. Why are all my belongings out here? Plus, with these divorce papers. Oh, well, it's simple. I don't have any more feelings for you. So, we're going to get a divorce. So, bring all those things and submit these divorce papers too. Wh what? Why would you even do such a thing? Because you can just go live on your own, right? So I think you're just better off being single. And you're just fine getting a divorce like this? Yeah, I don't mind at all. Besides, you did betray me after all. Excuse me? What do you mean? You were having an affair over there anyways, right? Come again? What the heck are you saying? There's no point in pretending to not know about it. I even have photos as evidence of you cheating on me. My husband has sent me a message as he sent the photos of evidence. It was a photo of my boss and I walking while I held his arm. Oh, I didn't expect you to go overseas just so you could cheat on me. My husband sighs through the front door. Since this is all happening because of you, I'll take this house. I'm not giving anything to you, you cheater. He said that to me. But I saw through this photo and realized that it was a complete fake. I see how it is. So that's how you're trying to take away my things from me, huh? Fine then, let's get a divorce. But don't you dare regret your decision, okay? Huh? I would never regret this. You better reflect back to your actions and what you've done. You betrayed me and made me sad. That's what Cole would say and it seems like he left. I didn't see his face but probably he was smirking at me. Fine, if Cole is playing it this way, I would give no mercy to him either. Two weeks later, I went to a restaurant to talk with my husband about our divorce. I hadn't seen my husband for a long time, but his looks had become somewhat how a womanizer would look like. It was somewhat painful that he didn't look like his age. 
You still look as plain and dull as ever. You went overseas, but you're still looking plain and dull like that, huh? I brushed off my husband's sarcasm and got down to business. So, about the divorce. Wait a minute. Who's the guy next to you? Oh, he's my lawyer who's helping me. Huh? A lawyer? My husband was upset by my lawyer's appearance, but when we all sat down, Cole began to say whatever he wanted. You cheated on me, and I'm taking that house and other property for alimony. I'm pretty generous that I don't charge a lot for the alimony, right? How could he even say such things like that? That house was bought by me, and the cars and appliances and all the other stuff is what I bought. So it's all mine. Divorce won't change that. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I'm asking you to give them to me as alimony for cheating on me. What are you talking about? I never cheated on you. You do know that I have photos as evidence that shows you were cheating on me, right? So you can't just get away with this. Then I let out a sigh and began to say this. <sighs> because that photo is fake. You've combined two photos into one. Excuse me? Wh what the hell are you saying? There's no way in hell I'd do that. My husband was being pretty obvious, so that's why I said this. The background of this photo is Paris, right? But I went on a business trip to Sydney, Australia. What? And my boss's face in the photo is the same face in the photo we all took at our wedding, right? You took the photo from that time and combined to one photo, didn't you? N no of course not. Well, even if you try to get away with this, this is not enough evidence to claim that I'm cheating on you. And the actual evidence of what an affair looks like would be this. While I said this, I showed him a photo of a woman going in and out of my house with Cole. You were the one actually cheating on me. My husband's face turned blue and he fell silent. These photos were taken by a professional photographer, so they are solid evidence. So we're getting a divorce because of what you did. I am the one filing for alimony and anything I purchased, including the house, will never belong to you. You are so naive to think that you can fool me with that little cover-up. Oh, n no. You should completely reflect back for what you've done. My husband was in complete shock. Well, that's all I have to say. I feel sorry for you, so I'll at least pay for the coffee here. I said this to him, but he didn't seem to hear me anymore. I left the restaurant with my lawyer, leaving my husband frozen and motionless. After that, I demanded alimony from my husband and his lover. And I put that house, the luxury car, and the expensive furniture and appliances on the market. I didn't want to think that a woman I didn't know spent the time in that house with all our things. They all sold for quite a high price and I used the money to buy a luxury condo and moved in. My ex-husband apparently lied to his lover about the house and car being purchased by him. He told his lover that he was an elite employee of a major company. And when all the lies were discovered, his lover dumped him. The truth of the affair came to light at Cole's workplace as well, and he is now feeling ashamed of himself. But he has to pay alimony, so he is working hard to pay it while enduring all those cold glares he gets from his colleagues. He deserves it, and it's a really nice feeling to see him suffer that way. Meanwhile, I am enjoying the single life. Meanwhile, I am enjoying the single life and enjoying the elegant and comfortable life in my new condo. I'm going to continue to work hard and take a break from romance for now and look for a partner at a slow pace. It's disgusting that Cole was bringing a woman into their house while Selena was away. And what a low life scumbag to make up a fake affair and try to steal Selena's property. But 
As it turns out, he lost everything, and only his debts increased. So, he did deserve what he got. I hope Selena will enjoy living her own life at her new condo. And I hope that she'll find a good person in time. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.